right, Nick, so let's have a look at a bottle that we've just pulled out of the cellar. And a lot of our customers might be wondering when they're pulling out bottles from their cellar, what they should be, how they should be handling it as soon as they pull it out. Yeah, for sure. Almost always, older bottles of wine will have a cork in them. Uh, so they'll be laying down. Mm -hmm. So when someone gets a bottle delivered from us or out of their own cellar, uh, it's always good to not, not sort of shake the bottle around too much. There'll be sediment lying on the, on the base of the, or the side of the bottle when it's lying down. So before opening, it's always best to stand the bottle up on a, on a bench for a while, mm -hmm. and that helps sediment roll down or sink to the base of the bottle. And that'll make it easier to open the wine and decant the wine when it comes to drinking it. So you shouldn't be shaking it on the way from the cellar to the table. Preferably not. Handling it like a little baby yeah. and putting it down carefully. Yep. And you do this ahead of time before your guests arrive if you were going to share it. Yeah, for sure. To make sure it's um, really good for drinking. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Um, and then the next step, I guess, is the opening. So um, before, if you were going to share it and your guests were coming, how, how early should we be opening? Uh, if I was having it for a dinner on, uh, on a Saturday night, I'd, I'd open it that, that morning. So get it out of the cellar that morning and stand it on the bench and then open it later in the sort of mid-afternoon. Yeah, but not right before they arrive. No, that's right. It needs time to breathe in the decanter or just in the bottle. Yeah, and then you can also check if it's, if it's okay to share. Yeah. Um, so yeah, opening the bottle. Yeah, so um, this is a two-stage uh, corkscrew, um, which is at the two stage, just means it's got a little notch halfway down the sort of lever action. Um, and the, I find these easier to use, um, especially if your, your hands are getting a bit older. Um, so firstly, you just use the knife to cut the top of the capsule off. And then I always like to have a bit of a, a look and feel of the cork um, before yeah. I use the corkscrew, because some really old bottles, but they might have a, a crumbly uh, cork in it where something like this little gizmo called a uh, well, cork puller or arso um, comes in handy and you can slide that down between the cork and the, the glass of the bottle, the neck of the bottle to help get it out. But I can already feel that this cork is in pretty good it's condition. pretty good, yeah. And then you use the corkscrew, basically how my, our mum taught me years ago was to um, prick the middle of the cork and screw the screw almost till you can't see any screw left. I usually um, have about one and a half um, uh, loops of the screw, if you like, exposed above the, above the cork. And then the next part is obviously levering the cork out. And you did the first lever, first level of the lever first, yep. and then the And then the second. second. Yeah, just to get that grip. Yeah. Yeah. And that is a good looking cork.